Welcome to the Money on Main Street channel. In our review of various dividend paying companies, we're looking at realty income today. The stock symbol is O, and it's notable that the dividend is paid monthly. Let's start with Realty Income Corporation's business fundamentals and then technical analysis of the stock prices. Realty Income is a triple net lease REIT with a focus on monthly dividend payouts, which has earned it the nickname the Monthly Dividend Company. The company's portfolio is highly diversified, spanning retail, industrial, and office spaces, with a heavy focus on essential businesses like grocery stores, pharmacies, and convenience stores. This provides a stable revenue stream, even during economic downturns, such as the COVID-19 pandemic when essential businesses continued operating. On the profitability front, Realty Income has been consistent in its ability to grow its funds from operations, FFO, a key metric for REITs that measures operational performance. High occupancy rates above 98% and scale advantages from owning thousands of properties make Realty Income a reliable long-term income generator, especially for risk-averse investors. Now let's look at price action in the 200-day SMA. The stock has been in a long-term bullish trend, trading well above its 200-day simple moving average, SMA, which generally reflects strong market sentiment. The 200-day SMA acts as a long-term trend indicator, and as long as the price stays above this level, investors typically view the stock as being in an uptrend. However, the price has been moving sideways near $62 to $64 recently, which could indicate consolidation. This kind of price movement often suggests that while the overall sentiment remains positive, upward momentum may be slowing. A stock that consolidates like this is usually preparing for a significant move, either a breakout to the upside or a pullback to the downside. Investors will be watching closely for a potential breakout, but the consolidation phase increases the likelihood of some short-term weakness. Next, the MACD moving average convergence divergence. The MACD line, blue, has recently crossed below the signal line, orange. This bearish crossover indicates that the upward momentum is weakening. When the MACD crosses below the signal line, it usually signals a shift towards short-term downside risk. The MACD histogram is also in negative territory, which further confirms that the momentum has shifted. While this doesn't necessarily indicate a long-term change in the stock's direction, it does suggest that in the short term, the stock could face some downward pressure or at least limited upward movement. The fast stochastic oscillator is in overbought territory above 80. Overbought readings typically imply that the stock has been heavily purchased and may be due for a short-term pullback. The fast stochastic has also started to turn downward slightly, indicating that buying pressure is easing. This decrease in buying pressure suggests that a correction or pullback may be imminent, though the long-term trend still looks positive given that the stock is trading above the 200-day SMA. Let's review the slow stochastic. The slow stochastic is also approaching overbought levels, meaning the stock might have been overbought for a longer period. Although there hasn't been a crossover in the slow stochastic lines yet, such a crossover would further confirm the likelihood of a short-term downward movement. Here's a summary of probabilities. Upward probability. The long-term trend remains bullish, supported by the price being well above the 200-day SMA. Investors looking for long-term dividend income might see the consolidation as a healthy pause before further upward movement. The fundamentals of the business remain strong, particularly due to realty income's focus on essential businesses and predictable cash flow. Downward probability, the bearish MACD crossover along with the overbought conditions in both the fast and slow stochastic oscillators and sideways price movement, all suggest that the stock has a higher probability of experiencing a short-term pullback or further consolidation. Investors may want to be cautious in the short term, waiting to see if the stock corrects before resuming its upward trend. Some final thoughts. In essence, while Realty Income's fundamentals remain strong and it continues to be a reliable income-producing asset, the technical indicators suggest that the stock might face some short-term downside pressure. The bearish MACD crossover combined with overbought stochastics points to a potential pullback. 
However, for long-term income-focused investors, any short-term volatility might present an opportunity to add to positions at a lower price, especially given Realty Income's defensive business model and consistent dividend payouts. This balanced perspective shows that while the stock may dip in the short term, its long-term outlook remains stable and attractive due to its strong business fundamentals. Let me know if you'd like further clarification or a deeper dive into Realty Income's financials or stock performance. We hope you find this useful, and we hope you'll like and subscribe for continued updates. Hope to see you again soon. Make the background music none.